Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Nikki LaRose. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Los Angeles. And for today's video, I have a really fun, easy one. It's gonna be an easy, natural makeup look. I feel like anybody can benefit from a nice, straightforward, easy makeup tutorial. So if you wanna see how to get this look right here, then keep watching. When I'm doing a natural makeup look, I don't worry about whether I'm gonna do my eyes first, my face first. It just kind of depends on my mood to be quite honest. So before I start my complexion products, I'm gonna do some underpainting, like a really soft, natural underpainting, mind you. This is a Freck Face Hack Precision Sculpting Bronzer. I wear the shade Medium Tan. This is the cutest little thing on the planet. It's so easy, it's so compact. Now I will say, it's not the best color for me, but I still really enjoy it. With the rest of the products I put on and blend with it, it works. It definitely, definitely works. So I'm just going to apply in all the places that I like to give that bone structure underneath my makeup. So around my nose, all across the forehead, as you can see, I'm gonna go for my jaw. Even though this is pretty light, I still like to pre-contour my lips with it. It's gonna look wild for a minute. But this formula just glides on so effortlessly. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna grab one of my favorite brushes and it's nice and clean. I just cleaned all my makeup brushes and I feel, I feel like a new person. This is a clean BK Beauty 106. I like to start in a tapping motion and then just lightly blend out. And this is very natural. Like the outcome of this, it looks like it's gonna be intense, but it's not. Once you blend it in, it is very soft, very, very natural and just easy. Quick disclaimer about the dents on my forehead in case you're noticing at home, I made the mistake that I make quite, quite often. I wore a baseball cap this morning before I filmed. So it left me with some nice dents on my forehead, but you know what? I don't care because my, my face was more protected when I was out and about. So it's all good. We're gonna act like they're not there. Now it doesn't matter if it looks messy after you blend it out because this is gonna be like the first coat of bronzer. And then we're gonna put that foundation on top and that's gonna help to just camouflage any areas that were not, that were like roughly blended. So I'm actually gonna add just a touch more on this side. And then I just press it into my lip, just give it a rough blend. And then with the nose, I am gonna switch up the brush because I can't use that huge brush for my nose. So I'm gonna switch to a 212 brush from BK Beauty. Just blend up to my brow. Just keep it nice and simple. I'm not going for chiseled features. I'm just going for like soft definition. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm gonna grab my color corrector. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's an old favorite. It's in the shade Light Peach. These are great color correctors if you're new to getting into them and you're just kind of dipping your feet into color correctors. These are really easy. My favorite method is always to apply these with your fingertip because it warms up the product. And then I just push it into the darkest area of my under eye that I need color correction. So for me, that's gonna be right here. And that warmth of the fingertip just really helps to melt it in to your skin, as opposed to if you used a brush, which I've used a brush just to test out different ways of applying this color corrector. The brush just adds a, a very heavy look to this color corrector that you, you don't want. Just use a clean fingertip. Already, I feel so much better. Put a touch right here. I have a lot of redness in this corner of my eye for some reason. It's just so nice to like <laughs> look at myself with a color corrector on. It's like instant. Now that that is on, I'm gonna go to my foundation that I've just poured out on my painter's palette. It's the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. This feels and looks so beautiful on your skin. It does not feel like a drugstore product at all. It feels honestly like, to me, like if, if you blindfolded me and I had to like swatch this, I would tell you that it's probably like a Charlotte Tilbury formula or like an Armani formula. It's, it's that good. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. I'm actually gonna use, I've been really liking this brush lately from my foundation. This is a BK Beauty 113. It's just like a nice, soft, small, like I like to call it like a, it's kind of like a paddle brush where you can like pat products in, but you can blend it out as well. So I'm gonna start in the center of my face and then work my way out. So the color that I wear in the True Match Nude is 4.5 to 5.5. And I have to say, if you are someone with an olive undertone, like an olive skin undertone. This is like the perfect undertone. They have nailed the olive undertone with this formula. It's just, it's so good. And I feel like that's actually really hard with drugstore, like complexion products, like foundation, especially. I think it's really hard to get a good olive undertone. I feel like they all lean towards the super warm golden and yellow tone. So, or you get the opposite, like very red, very cool. But there's really, I feel like there's a big, gap in like finding a good olive tone. So if you're looking for that and you fit that description, definitely check this foundation out in that shade. So just going over top and now I'm just gonna take the rest of my product and just kind of apply it all over. I'm gonna blend this down my neck because my neck is a little fair right now. And it is more of a sheer foundation. So if you wanna build up the coverage, you actually easily can. 
So in the areas I want a little more coverage without going in with concealer yet, you're gonna see me switch to a tapping motion. So around my nose, I'm gonna tap it in, get a little more coverage. And then around here, because I have a little, little dot that showed up out of nowhere. Now with whatever's left over, which is just barely any, I'm gonna just graze over my eyelid and you can see that eliminates a good portion of any redness that you see like visibly on my eyelids, but it still keeps it pretty natural. It doesn't look like I have a ton of product on my eyelids, which is what I'm going for. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but my brows are just, just barely filled in. And I'm excited because I have some new brow products I'm going to try in this video. They're from Kimiko. Kimiko is a Japanese brow brand and they have some of the most finest, and also I will say like beautifully packaged brow products I've ever seen. I am so excited to try. First of all, they sent me a whole bunch, so thank you, Kimiko. I cannot wait to try these, but they sent me some great brow pencils. So I'm gonna fill my brows in a minute with that. But they also sent me a clear brow gel that I am so, so excited to use. But before I try these brow products, I'm going to powder my brows just very lightly with my OG Laura Mercier Loose Powder. This is the translucent powder. I have a limited edition packaging that I'm trying to use up. So with a clean blending brush, I'm gonna tap in that powder and this is going to soak up any excess oil that has formed under my brow. It's also gonna to help to soak up any excess skincare. So I, I applied my skincare off camera before I did this video. And you know, it's, of course it's all over my forehead. I have sunscreen on, I have the whole nine yards on. And inevitably, even though I avoid my brows because I have oily brows, it still tends to seep through. So I'm just gonna powder my brows really quick, get them nice and matte. And please don't look closely at my brows because I am really hardcore trying to, to grow them out at this point. Like very much so trying to like stay dedicated and not get impatient and just trying to see if they'll grow in thicker if I just leave them be. Like that's it, just leave them alone. So now that my brows are powdered, I'm going to use a Kimiko Super Fine Eyebrow Pencil. I have black tea and I have coffee. I'm gonna start with, let's start with coffee. They're actually very similar. They're just different undertones. You know what? No, let's start with black tea because black tea has a cool, more of a ashy undertone to it. Very fine pencil, I love this. Also love that it's retractable. Like you can twist it up and then back down. That's nice, really, really nice. That was easy. Okay, so black tea is definitely gonna be my shade. But coffee in comparison looks like a really beautiful, like a neutral brown. So I'll actually be probably throwing coffee in my makeup kit and I'll be using it probably this week because it's a nice, really nice brow pencil. So now I get to finish it with the brow gel. It's just clear, so hopefully it's gonna add a lot of hold. I like a lot of hold because I have like very soft, very uh, silky brows that just don't wanna do what I want them to do. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch of this product. See if I can get like a laminating effect with this. I'm not quite sure what the hold is like with this product. It's the first time I'm trying it out. So I'm gonna kind of find out together. I'll go back and fill in this gap in a second too. See if it's dry down. Okay, yeah, it's dry down a bit. Okay, I'm gonna switch my brow pen from NYX. It's the Lift and Snatch pen because I, I need to get something wet on top of that brow gel just to fill in my brows even more. This also helps to give them a really nice feathered look. <laughs> We're gonna move on because brows take me forever. Okay, so before I do my under eye concealer, I just did my color corrector. I'm gonna switch to eyes. I wanna do my soft eye makeup look. And I'm really excited. I have a new product from Make. The brand is Make. It's the Eye Shaping Stilo. It's basically like, I wanna say from what I understand this product is, it's kind of like a natural contour for your eyes. It's a way to like shape and define and give your eyes structure pre eyeshadow, if that makes sense. So I love products like this. You know, I love like shadow sticks. I love all kinds of things like this. Um, so this is right up my alley. I'm gonna use the shade Cultivate. So Cultivate is gonna be a nice natural, almost like a skin tone basically. And I'm gonna start, start in the outer corner. And I'm just gonna basically use this as a base and then across my crease. So kind of leaving the eyelid space. It looks really natural. This is a natural makeup look. But what I'm gonna do is, or the idea I have is I'm gonna blend the crease just softly. Oh, this blends out really nice. Okay, very beautiful. I love shades like this so much. I think they're so they're so beautiful. They're so soft. They're great for a natural, easy makeup look. Like this is gonna be an easy makeup look, just soft and pretty. So I'm gonna run this quickly along my lash line and that's it. Let's move on to this side. So base of my lash line and then 
bringing it across my crease. Really pretty. I'll definitely be doing more looks with the rest of the shades. I got the whole shade range, so thank you, Make. So I'll definitely be creating more looks with these. But I have a feeling this is gonna be one of my go-tos for an easy, natural makeup look. So pretty. Now, since I am oily, I'm gonna take just a touch of my Laura Mercier powder, the same one I used to powder my brows, and just tap a little bit on the crease in the base of my eyelid because I know I'm gonna crease it if I don't. Now onto some actual eyeshadow, like powder eyeshadow. This palette is so stunning. It's from the brand LH Cosmetics, Linda Hallberg. She's a super famous, incredible makeup artist. I didn't even know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know she had a makeup brand until they reached out and they sent me, or they wanted to send me a bunch of products. They sent me this palette in PR and first of all, thank you. But this palette is so stunning. It, it's something like I, I pack like during the week, I work really early. I hit the road early. I try to beat traffic, all these things. So what I do is I go on like Sunday night and I pack like a little pre makeup kit, like a little mini makeup bag for myself. So when I get to work, once I've landed, basically arrived, I do my makeup in the car. I always want to grab this because it's so soft and it's so beautiful. The formula is amazing. Let me show you how beautiful some of these are on. So I'm going to grab a clean Zoeva blending brush. This is the 227 Luxe Crease. I'm going to dip a little bit into this soft pink shade and blend it just a little into my crease. It's just so good. The formulations are great. There's very, very minimal fallout, if any, honestly. Um, highly pigmented. It's just a great palette. So I have been just loving this lately. So just softly in the crease. And this is working really nice on top of that cream base that we applied earlier. Now for a natural makeup look, I love to just take my fingertip and dip into this shade right here. It's got this beautiful, it's like a beautiful natural champagne tone. I'm gonna pop it on the base of my eyelid. So pretty. I'm gonna go back to that palette in a minute, but before I do, I'm gonna grab one of my favorite brown pencils. This is great for everyday use. It's soft. It's limitless brown for makeup forever. So I love to take this for a natural makeup look and just run it along my top lashes. And now that's on, I'm gonna take a 204 from BK Beauty. Go back to my LH Cosmetics palette and dip into this beautiful neutral brown. I'm just gonna layer this on top. So easy. It's such a great daytime way to wear your eye makeup, like your eyeliner specifically. And then same thing, we're gonna repeat this eye. Same thing, I'm gonna dip into that shadow. It's gonna set it too, which is nice. It's gonna lock into place. So anytime I wear like a pencil eyeliner on my top lash line, especially since I do have oily eyelids, I don't want it to transfer obviously from like base of my eyelid to the top of my eyelid. So this is something I always do on the top lash line. If I'm gonna wear a pencil, I always set it with a like-minded powder just so it stays put. I just love this combo of browns. It's so gorgeous. Okay, so now, our eyeshadow is pretty much done. So I'm gonna curl my lashes. This has been my favorite lash curler for a while now. It's from Ruffer. This really grabs my lashes and curls them so nicely. And onto a new mascara that I've been loving. It's from LYS. I love this brand. They're a really great, I think a very affordable brand too, um, but they just sent me their newest mascara. It's the Lash Confidence Mascara. Love the packaging. And I actually really love this curved wand. So after I curl my lashes, I'm gonna get this to the root of my lashes and just pull it straight up. Very beautiful, impactful mascara. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. I'm gonna grab a concealer that I actually did not like at first, to be quite honest, and I kept trying it because I just wanna give it a good fair chance. Now I love it, now I'm hooked. I think it's a beautiful formula. It's really nice if you're looking for a soft, slightly more sheer concealer, like nothing too heavy, nothing too full coverage. This is really great if you have very dry under eyes. This is like a really, really lightweight formula. So this is the Glow-ish by Huda Beauty Bright Light Sheer Concealer. So very sheer. I do build this up a little bit. And I really like the fact that it's in a tube. This is just really nice. It's easy. I wear the shade 03 Light. So I'm gonna pop it. And you can see too, like it's very sheer. 
Now I do want to bring this straight down my nose for a little natural, easy highlight, and then straight out towards my temple, and then a little on my chin. And then for even a natural look, I love to bring this around my nose because it's just really dark around that area, and I like to like bring it back forward with some light. I'm gonna take a small, damp sponge from e.l.f. and just lightly tap it in. Not applying too much pressure and being really careful, just tap it nice and lightly because I don't wanna lift up the sheer coverage that it does give you. So just lightly tapping it in. And then I kinda of let the rest of it dry down on its own. So we'll go back to those two areas in a minute. But it's just beautiful. It feels really lightweight. Again, just great for a natural, more luminous makeup look. So now we're gonna move on to blush. This has been a new favorite of mine. The brand sent me some PR and this blush came in the mail. It's so beautiful. It's the shade Wisteria. It's from Rose Ink. And I love to apply it with a 109 from BK Beauty. So I'm just gonna dip in and press it high up on my cheek. It's a really good cream blush formula. I love it for like, honestly, it's like it's been one of my go-to blushes for Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday whenever I'm like traveling the most and doing makeup on the go. It's super pretty. And when I'm going for a natural makeup look, I do like to bring it across my nose. It just gives me a really soft flush of color in the center of my face. It just makes me look really healthy and I don't know. There's something about it. It's just really, it's a really flattering way to wear your blush. But the color is gorgeous. And I love with the combo of eyeshadows I have on. Just a really pretty, soft, natural look. Okay, blush is on. Go back to a blending brush. I'm gonna blend out the edges of that Huda Beauty concealer. Now using the same brush, go back to my Laura Mercier powder and set my under eyes with this. Just keep it nice and light and natural. And now speaking of LH Cosmetics, I'm gonna take their powder puff and use this to set the rest of my face. So I like to set along the side of my mouth, a little bit on the top of my chin, and then right here in the center of my forehead, I wanna calm down some of the shine. And then with whatever's left over, just like a touch left on my powder puff, just gonna lightly press it into the rest of the areas of my face. To bring some extra bronze back to my complexion, now I put my foundation on top of that bronzing stick from Freck. I'm gonna use a Chanel bronzer. I got this as a hand-me-down from one of my friends, so I'm stoked to have it. It's a beautiful bronzer. Do you need it? No. I'm just gonna like totally put it out there. It's just, it's beautiful, so I'm going to use it and, you know, get, get some good use out of it. It's the Le Beige Sun Bath in Deep. So it's a deeper shade, believe it or not, in the bronzer. And I'm gonna apply with a really big fluffy brush. This is gonna give it a soft, natural effect. It's a BK Beauty 103. Tap off the excess and just warm up the rest of my forehead. And again, we're gonna ignore the dents on my face <laughs> that are playing major tricks on me right now. Make me feel like this bronzer is patchy when I know it's not patchy, it's just the dents on my forehead, so. A little more on the side of my cheeks. It's going straight down. Just nice, natural, I'm not trying to contour with it. Bring along my jawline. And then here's my favorite part. This has been one of my go-to things, again, during the week when I'm just in a hurry and want something like quick and just beautiful. So I'm gonna take a 303 brush from LH Cosmetics, dip into that bronzer, and then just softly run a little bit on my bottom lash line, just for a little bit of contrast and definition. This is something I just don't skip on me. I love a little bronzer on the bottom lash line. And then a little more. I'm gonna line my lips, just softly. A go-to lip liner of mine when I want a nice natural makeup look is Work of Art from Tower 28. This I also have in my makeup kit and I just, I love it. I use it all the time. I can't, I can't help it. It's just so pretty. If you haven't tried this lip liner, it's just, it's so, so beautiful. So I'm gonna line my lips with this liner. And yep, I still like to fill in my cupid's bow and round it out. This gives my top lip a really nice curve and a really nice lift up, the look of it anyway. And then just a little on the bottom. I don't go all the way in on the corners if I'm going for a natural look. And I'm gonna gently rub out the bottom liner and add another layer. Okay, now you might be surprised, but I'm gonna skip lipstick and instead I'm gonna go for one of my favorite lip glosses at the moment, it's from Play Beauty. They have beautiful formulas, they're really nice. They feel so nice on my lips. I can't even tell you, like, I, I'm i not a gloss fan on myself. I love it in my makeup kit, but on me personally, it's just something I never like, I don't think like, oh my God, I have to buy myself a new lip gloss. I don't desire it for myself. I would like to have my lips feel more matte or more satin or more creamy, but not like glossy, except this one. This is really beautiful. This is the shade Ethel, and Ethel is just a beautiful, natural, soft pink. It's just so pretty. Last but not least, I'm gonna set my makeup look with the Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Always an Optimist Setting Spray. This is the little travel size. And 
and that completes this easy, natural makeup look. So I hope you enjoyed this easy, natural makeup look. Leave me a comment, let me know what your thoughts were. If you're gonna recreate this, tag me. I'm on Instagram and TikTok, I'm at Makeup by Nicola Rose. And if you like videos like this, I have so many more where they came from. You can check them out right here. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.